Now, customized CSS selector needs to be created if the CSS selector given by the inspect element tool of Chrome or the Firebug is not running the script properly or the script is giving exceptions. It can be an invalid element state exception or it can be uh, element not found exception or no such element exception. So under this, that, that circumstances, you, got, you are supposed to create a customized CSS selector. Other thing is that uh, the customized CSS selector is sometimes needed when uh, the CSS selectors defined by the Firebug or the Inspect Element tool of Chrome is not able to run the script properly. So customized CSS selectors can be created for absolute as well as for partial. Uh, I'm sorry, this should be an X, not X path. This should be CSS selector. Customized CSS selector can be created if the CSS selector created by Firebug or the inspect element of Chrome for a specific web element does not work as we have discussed earlier. Customized CSS selector can also be created if you want the CSS selector to use attributes apart from ID. Now, if we see the Firebug of your Firefox or the or the <coughs> or the inspect element tool of Chrome creates CSS selector by the ID attribute or by the class attribute. Now, if you want to create a CSS selector apart from ID attribute or apart from class attribute, then we can also create our own customized CSS selectors. Customize exp expats. So this is also a problem out here. I'm sorry for that. Customize CSS selector can be created if the Customized CSS selector can be created if the CSS selector shown by the inspect element tool of Chrome and or by Firebug for a specific element does not work. Actually, this can be absolutely removed. This has already been discussed earlier. So notes for CSS selectors, the CSS selector can be customized by using any attribute. We can use any attribute of the of a particular HTML script for a particular web element to create customized CSS selectors. CSS selector supports compound class values, whereas class name locating strategy does not support compound class values. So we'll see this. So what I'm going to do is go to the Eclipse out here. I'm going to create a new class file called as customized CSS selector. Call the main method and I'm going to use the same script out here. And I'm going to basically use the same script. going to remove this part not required Remove this part not required so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a customized CSS selector for typing in the keyword called selenium in the Google search edit box that means I'm going to create a customized CSS selector for the Google search edit box and not only I'm going to create a partial partial customized CSS selector but I'm also going to create absolute uh, 
customize CSS selector for the Google search edit box. So I can use the Firefox or the Chrome browser to create the customized CSS selector or I can use the Firebug of your Firefox or the inspect element of Chrome to create the customized CSS selector out here. So let's go out here. So let's basically go to Firebug and open up the Firebug tool and let's go and highlight the HTML script for the uh, edit box out here. So uh, I want to create uh, I have to look at the Firebug because the Firebug will give me the HTML script by the hierarchy of the tags that are defined out here. So this is the input whose ID is equal to LSTIB is going to work. I know that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a customized CSS selector from the form tag. So how do I create it? So I'm going to write down as customized CSS selector. So I'm going to create from the form tag out here. So form tag um, has an ID uh, whose value is uh, TSF. Now we know that the format of a CSS selector is something like this format of CSS selector. Is something like this we have the star followed by the square brackets in the square bracket we'll have the attribute and the value of the attribute within single quotes so similarly out here the form tag instead of star i can give the form Instead of this star, I can put the form followed by the attribute. Attribute is your ID. Or I can give the name also. So instead of the ID attribute or the class attribute, I can use the name. Name is equal to F. So I can put name is equal to within single quotes F then and the form tag has how many childs uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 childs and in the third child that is a diff child the HTML script for the text box uh, edit box is highlighted okay so what I can do is I can either use a greater than sign or I can use a simple space to define the tags which are below the form tag. So I'll use the greater than sign. The form tag has the third child which is a div below which the HTML script for the edit box is present. So the third type is a div div child. So I can write down div colon nth child within bracket this is the third child this is the third child so three and <coughs> excuse me this div child becomes the parent right now it has a lot of child inside it how many childs one two three in which child the HTML script for the edit box is present in the second child somewhere down it has present the second child means I have to write down div colon nth child second greater than second child and this 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 child now becomes the parent it has a lot of childs so it has only one and two two childs within the first child somewhere down the HTML script is present 
this is the first child in this particular child somewhere down the HTML script is present so I will write down div colon nth child within parenthesis 1 greater than sign let's go down it has a lot of childs so in the first there are two childs of this particular div child right now this is the first this is the second in the first child the HTML script of the edit box is present this is, this is the first child this is the second child so in this particular div child it is present this is the first one so I have to write down div colon nth child one greater than sign expand this it has a lot of childs again so this div becomes the parent right now and it has three childs one two and three and which child it is present third child somewhere down yes third child somewhere down it is present that is what I'm highlighting so I have to write down here div colon nth child within parenthesis 3 greater than sign then this becomes a parent how many child it has only one child it has within when you expand this particular this child the HTML script is present somewhere down so you can go and write down div colon nth child 1 greater than so this has a lot of child inside it it has three childs one two three and in the third child when you expand somewhere down the HTML script is present this is the third child which I'm highlighting right now so I have to need to write down div colon nth child 3 greater than then come down how many child it has it has only one child this is the one which I'm highlighting when you expand this child somewhere down the HTML script is present so you have to write down div colon nth child 1 and this has how many child so this highlighted becomes the parent and this is first child this is the second child this is the third child this is the fourth child I will take the first child instead of the fourth child is highlighted because this this ID value will not work we have seen that earlier also but this ID or value is going to work so I'll take the first child so this will be input colon nth child 1 so this is one of the customized CSS selector so I can use this copy and I'm going to paste it out here so type the key keyword selenium out here it is what I'm going to do so driver dot find element by the CSS selector sorry this is the CSS selector and dot send keys button and I'm going to type in selenium and let us see this customized xpath is working CSS selector is working or not so not sorry not xpath CSS selector so this is a customized CSS selector let's see it is working or not this will work over the Firefox browser so done this if there's exception is coming that means this there's a problem with the CSS selector that has been customized
so there is a problem and that is why this exception is coming invalid selector exception the given selector is either invalid or does not result in a web element the following error occurred invalid or illegal selector was specified so let us see what is the problem So let us uh, try to do one particular thing. The, the form tag has an ID whose value is TSF. So let us run with that. The form tag has an ID whose value is TSF. Let us run with that and check it out. Otherwise, we have to see the whole hierarchy once again. No, that's not working. It is showing me an exception out here. So I have to check the hierarchy of this. So let's come back and look at the hierarchy form tag. The form tag has input as one of the child this div as another child this is the third child third child means greater than sign div and a child 3 here i have not given the greater than sign okay that is the problem so i will use the copy it once more and i'll check if if i have correctly written it or not file I will use this form tag right now this customize is a selector go out here and use this that was the problem then save this and run it Now it is working fine that means that was the problem I had forgotten to put the greater than sign and if I see out here there is no exception or error in the console that means the CSS selector customize is working fine. Similarly I will remove or close the extra browsers opened out here. I can create another customized CSS selector so I am going to create it from the from the from this div tag whose class value is tsf hyphen p so the second customized CSS selector mm, second one is the div tag whose class attribute is taken and value of the class attribute within single quotes tsf hyphen p
Now instead of the greater than sign, I'm going to use space. Space is also permitted. Below this, this is the div tag. This is the second child. So I can just copy from here. Second child has how many childs? It has only two childs. So this is the first child in which the HTML script is somewhere down. It is present. This has two childs. This is the second child. Second child has how many childs? One, two. In the first child somewhere down, the HTML script is present. So I can write down space div colon init child one space again so inside it how many childs are there first child and second child somewhere in the first child it is present down this is the first child that I'm highlighting this is the first child and this is the second child and somewhere when I expand this first child the HTML script gets highlighted so this is the first child yeah so I'll go out here and write down first child again so I'll copy this space put it again a space so I'll expand it in the third child it is present so how many childs are there one two three third child somewhere down the HTML script is present so I need to write down space diff colon nth child three space this has how many childs only one child so this is then diff colon nth child one space this has how many childs one two and three in the third child somewhere down it is present this is the third child so what I need to write down this space the third child is how many childs only one child this is the one I can write down this and just copy this space and then this I will use this particular input tag instead of this highlighted because the ID value with this will not work we have seen that the ID value with this is going to work so I'm going to use input colon nth child one so let's use this copy go to our script and you can use driver dot find element by the CSS selector this is the selector and dot send keys I can use the keyword called selenium and what I can do is that I'll comment this code and add the another customized CSS selector let's run it over the Firefox browser save and run it
so it's working fine i don't get an exception error in the console of eclipse that means this customized partial css selector is working fine so i'll write down partial what about the absolute customized css selector so i'll have to start with the html tag out here the html tag has two childs the head child and the body child so i'll create right now a absolute customized css selector I'll have to start with the HTML tag. So HTML greater than and then the body tag. Body tag is the second child. There are only two childs, head and body. Body is the second child. So I'll go out here, write down body colon nth child to greater than below it the body tag has how many childs first child second child third child so first child somewhere down the HTML script for the edit box is present so this is the child in which when you expand this child the HTML script for the edit box is present so this is diff colon nth child one greater than sign then this has how many childs one child two child three child four child five child six child seven child eight child nine child tenth child eleven child Twelve child, thirteen child, fourteen childs are there inside the this diff tag. So this diff as a parent has fourteen childs, and in which child it is present? One, two, three, four, five, and sixth child it is present. So if I expand sixth child, some went out the HTML script gets highlighted. This is the sixth child. So I'll go out here and write down diff colon nth child six greater than sign inside the six child how many childs are there one two three four five five childs so form is the fifth child inside the form when i expand form somewhere down the HTML script for the edit box is present so form is fifth so form nth child fifth child is there and now form tag I have already created so rest of it I will copy from here this is the absolute customized CSS selector I will just copy this go to my script and I'm going to comment this and write down absolute customized CSS selector you can write down driver 
dot find element by the CSS selector and this is the value dot send keys and I'm going to send the key called selenium and put a terminator sign so let's see this is working or not save the class file and run it this is going to run about the Firefox browser and this is going to work about the Chrome browser also so it is working fine we see no exceptions error in the console this is how you create absolute CSS selector customize CSS selector generally speaking the firebug of Firefox or the inspector element to tool will not show you absolute CSS selector until unless the web element HTML script doesn't have an ID attribute or the class attribute so this is how you work with absolute customized CSS selector and that's about it so we'll go to the PowerPoint presentation right now uh, we'll basically see the performance of CSS selector as compared to XPath. Now we know that execution of Selenium WebDriver scripts becomes slower when XPath is used. Okay, it is generally said that the XPath uh, slows up the Selenium WebDriver scripts. Execution of Selenium WebDriver script is faster when CSS selector is used, and it is a general notion that when we use CSS selectors, the execution time of Selenium WebDriver scripts become faster as compared to your XPaths. IE works better with CSS selector whereas Chrome Mozilla Firefox works better with XPath. Now as far as my personal commenting is concerned, I have not seen anywhere that using an XPath slows down the execution time of the Selenium WebDriver scripts. I have not found that, can, that kind of problem. So I have found out that whether it is the XPath or CSS selector, the execution time does not get affected. But in the general notion, it is said that XPath slows down the Selenium WebDriver scripts while CSS selector fastens the execution time of the Selenium WebDriver scripts. So that's about it. Thanks very much for 